There's no other way to put it. The TLX 9000 is out now for all platforms. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 37 mods for you. For all platforms, we got 14 new, 14 updates. For console only, we got two new. And PC and Mac, we got four new and three updates. We got so much to do today. Let's check it out. Starting off with new mods for all platforms, we have 82 Studios TLX 9000 Semi. You guys have watched this being made live. You've seen calls. Come on multiple custom versions and today you get to enjoy it yourself so we start with 485 horsepower 440 liters fuel and 49 mile per hour max speed rim color we got tons in here for you stainless steel we've got dark steel as well even aluminum chrome oh yeah and polished as well plus tons of just custom crazy crazy colors you got the old citadels in here you got the tiffany blues you've got the school bus yes even school bus colors i loved watching that and even a cone you know like traffic cones you've got that on there as well plus you have the lone colors all of the stuff that you used to see in scarlets or nitro blue stuff like that but since these are rims we're gonna go with the chrome color through there main color here is where we've got all those colors as well so you have your pure white which you're used to seeing on tlx trucks you've also got your citadels which is very pink your tiffany blue which is very blue school bus you've seen that the cone yeah and then every single color that was available on the tlx so many custom color options but you know which one we're going with come on design color this is going to be the very top up here so you could put that however you want some people will choose to make that match and that's totally cool if you like me i like the difference between the nitro blue and the pure white so that's what we're going to go with there configurations we have a bunch to so sit down standard preset one rear hitch oh yeah we got that on there as well hitch pro which is going to have a PTO or P <laughs> hitch PTO. Sorry, it's the pro hitch. That's what it is. So you've got your smart hitch on the back with a PTO, which is very nice. It'll kind of adapt to whatever you hook up to. And the back to standard wheel brands through here. We have a stock. We have stretched. You've got stretched with the double T, which adds some extra fuel tanks. You have the lug covers. You have the spike covers. Yes, we even have Agro tires. These were just added like two days ago. So you've got all kinds of cool stuff through there. Wheel setups, we have a standard wheel setup. You have a black center cap, heavy duty, Nokian, Nokian heavy duty, and back to standard again. What happens if we change this up, for example? What if we do spike covers on here? Does that change anything? Well. It will add a few different things here, so we can add a little stretch frame to that, and we can add different things within those. So these will change depending on what you decide to do here. So you've got basically every version. It's just how you decide to configure them. I really like this. I know he was saying he didn't really like the aggro tires too much. These are one of my favorite tires in game. I love these. I just don't use them too much because the Tatcher is a little bit rough. So. I prefer this. I think it looks great. You did a really, really, really good job, David. Uh, as far as license plate goes, we have a standard. We have double. You get the mighty Texan on there. Yes, Texas plates. You got built 8-2. You've got all three. So that's pretty cool there. Rear fenders. We have a standard rear fender. We have style number one. Style number two, or style number one with the main color. Style number two. That with the main color as well. And then we set up style number one with lights. Yes, so it adds lights on there as well. You've got those in both. And then back to standard extras. We have a standard. You have a headache rack. Headache rack with lights, which can be moved around. You've got it with a strobe bar. Strobe bar and lights or none. Bumper, ground to the front here. We have a standard. We have custom bumper. You can kind of see uh, it extends out, makes it nice and flat. Then you can add lights to that as well. Or go with an Aussie bull bar or even the oversized logo on there as well. A lot of you guys are probably going to go with that because it looks so good. Lighting on here. We have a standard amount of lighting. We have the chicken lights around the top. You've got spotlights in the front. Rear working lights, which are going to be added right above where all the hoses are. Then 
you have multiple different versions or you could do all which i'm sure a lot of you guys will do air intakes we have standard air intakes we've got short air intakes so you can go back and forth between the standard and the short engine setup we have the tlx 9000 which will give you 485 horsepower you have the tlx 942 which is going to give you 580 horsepower or you can do with a 650 horsepower 522 so you got multiple different versions through there which is nice also you might be able to see there's a little sticker right below the front door right at the very front left hand corner that is going to change whenever you change up this so that is pretty cool there as well and that's it that is your tlx 20 or tlx 2020 yikes wrong one tlx 9000 you guys want to hear what this thing sounds like In addition to the customization, you've also got a very, very nice interior on here as well. Tons of customization, tons of features. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. This is just done well. This is how you do it. There's a new standard for semi-trucks in game now. Let's turn on our help window because we do have some other things in here as well. So we can open the cover. What does that do? Well, that is going to open our front doors. You're able to move your fifth wheel so you can move that forwards and backwards, which is very, very nice. That's going to come in. <laughs> that's going to come in handy big time. You're able to roll your windows down so you can roll the windows all the way down. What do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. Uh, I will do both windows at the same time. You even have the animation on there, which is very, very nice. And to top it all off, You've got your spotlights. If we turn that on, you'll be able to see spotlights move. So you can put those in the front, put them towards the back, angle them however you wish, and you're good to go. What do you guys think about the TLX 9000? Next up, we have the New Holland T5 Utility Series. This bad boy right here is in small tractors. Believe it or not, that's right, a T5 in small tractors, but it's, it's pretty small tractor to begin with. 99 horsepower, 160 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour. Let's take a look. Main color through here, we've got all kinds of stuff. So we have standard blue power, Fiat Agri, Fiat Agri 2, black, silver, green, and communal. So you can do like your roadworks kind of thing. Rim color, standard, blue power, Fiat Agri, black, and communal there as well. Going down to design color. Change this up. This is going to be the seat inside of your cab. So change that to red just so you can see it wheel brands we have trelleborg we have michelin nokian back to trelleborg in here we have standard wheel weights wide tires wides with weights man that looks good rear twins twins all the way around goodness gracious even narrow tires dual narrow tires oh yeah in michelin we have a standard tire wheel weight wide tire wides with weights rear twins twins all the way around back to standard and in nokian we've just got a standard communal tire we're gonna change it up that because that looks awesome PTO, we have a standard PTO with front PTO, front attacher, no or yes. We even have a Hauer console in there as well, and an engine setup. We've got 99 horsepower, 107 or 114 horsepower, which I think is going to be great, especially for those of you that want just a little bit of a bigger tractor for doing work around your main farm. This will be perfect. Our Christmas gifts from Agritechnic Nord Eiffel have been continuing today with the silo distributor fork from BEK. This is going to cost you 4,100 bucks. It holds 4,700 liters of your normal chaff stuff. So you've got chaff, grass, hay, straw, manure, and silage as well. That's not right. Uh, all right, fair enough. Uh, we've got tons of main color through here so you can do whatever you like. Attacher type on the back. You have front loader, wheel loader, and back to front loader. So you are able to use this with a front loader, making this one of the largest front loader things in the game. 
and it's in the ground, unfortunately. Next up from Connect Modding is the Bandarante Raster H9. This bad boy right here is a plow. Says with a plow, you can prepare your fields for the next sowing and new fields. There you go, 340 horsepower required, 5.8 meter working with at six miles an hour. This is a honker. This requires a lot of power, but gets the job done. Next, we have the famed A plows, or at the end of the day, it's the automatic plow, but don't think like, well, what does automatic mean? It's just plow at the end of the day. There's five, or 55 horsepower required, 2.5 meter work width, seven miles per hour. And we could change this up from three furrow to four furrow. Still requires 55 horsepower and still says 2.5 meter work width. All of these say 2.5 meter working with. Uh, so it looks like this one right here, three fur is going to be one meter, one and a half, two, and two and a half. So two and a half meter is actually the largest plow. So you'll be able to choose between three, four, five, and six furrow options. Next up, we got a name I can't pronounce. I've been calling this the Lahita Plow in Farm Sim News. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I can tell you that it looks great. Yes, it does. It even goes on pallets when you're not using it. 65 horsepower, 1.3 minute worker width, nine miles per hour, main color, red and blue. Next new mod for all platforms, we have the Lizard FS60-2 fertilizer spreader. This is going to do fertilizer only, no lime in this. 600 liters, 50 horsepower required, 24 meter spread at 12 miles per hour. It is very nice, unfortunately. With that 24 meter spread, you're gonna run out pretty quick. Just heads up, but we could change that. Capacity 600, 750, back to 600. So you've got what appears to be like something that you would add on your own. I've seen lots of things like this on farms where uh, farmers will build custom things and uh, ways to extend capacities and help things out and that kind of thing. I like this. I dig this. I think this is really cool. In addition to that, we have different colors as well. So let's start with our main color. We have our normal, we have gray, and we have red. And in design color, this is going to be the frame on the bottom. So you could change that up however you like. Next new mod for all platforms is going to be the 15 by 19 shed. And this comes in three different versions. It comes in a normal look. We've also got one that has a balcony that's attached on the left side and one that's attached on the right side. All of them have interactive doors and lights and the ones without the balcony will cost you $50,000 at the two, whether you go left side or right side. So E or D, that is going to cost you $80,000. Next up, we have the Petro Farm Cell Station. This is a diesel point of sale in addition to being a decorative object and complementing the Petro Farm gas station, which we talked about last week. Here, you could sell your diesel as well. That's going to be done here on the right side. In case you're curious, this is seasons ready. So you're good to go there. Costs $35,000. Main, it's 80 bucks per day. It is by Team IWMM. Big shout out to those guys. Super awesome. We've got the old wooden shed. This is the old wooden shed. It's got a workshop and an open shed version as well. The old wood shed, $15,000. Version with a workshop, $20,000, and just the open shed is gonna cost you 15. Next up, we have Dash Modding's medium pull-through workshop with lift pack. This, which is just interesting, isn't it? It's awesome, that's what it is. Let's get this bad boy opened up and let's take a look. So we've got lifts. We have a complete pull-through area here. So you're able to have a complete drive-through section got places on the outside, places on the inside, which is just good. And I love that they've done this right here. <laughs> That's so cool. Yo, let's let's take a look at something. Let's work on something. Yo, let's do it with the TLX 9000. So you've probably seen different lifts before. Uh, these are not new in any way. However, they're new here. These are completely custom. Uh, absolutely completely custom, by the way. Let's raise it up. Yeah, let's go. Now lifts are interesting in farm sims, so just a heads up with that. Uh, however, yeah, it's cool. Can't walk under it, but it is pretty sweet, isn't it? That's awesome. You've also got one on this side as well. So if we go click right through there, we've got another lift on this side too. This one is a little bit smaller, it looks like. So that one's a little bit wider. This one's a little bit more narrow, giving you the option to do different things. And of course, you do have your repair shop right here. So those of you that like to do role play and that kind of thing, this might be for you guys. I think this might, <laughs> this might just take over. Yeah, let's go and get these bad boys brought back down. 
Oh, th this is another thing. Yeah, there we go. I was going to tell you, this is another thing with uh, things like this. Sometimes they'll just hover a little bit. It is what it is. There is nothing you can do about it. Now, my question would be, can we still work on vehicles if they're outside? And the answer is yes. So if you got something that won't fit, well, simply just drive it into here somehow, some way. Uh, these are invisible, so you could walk straight through those, drive straight through them, don't worry about them. Good to go. Tell you what, dash modding, you did an impeccable job. We're gonna talk about dash modding here in a few mods as well. Next, we got the hay shed for the farm. This is going to be a hay shed for your farm. Daily upkeep is $10 per day, price is $3,000. We got a street light pack for you. Street lights. Yeah, placeable street lights from Greenwich Valley and the Northern Coast by Green Bell by the same owner. Price for all is gonna be $1,000. Daily upkeep for each one is going to be $1,000, or $1, sorry, not 1,000. That'd be a whole lot expensive. So now you can decorate your farm with the exact same models that were used to create the maps. And your last new mod today from Dash Modding again is the Lighted Candy Cane Pack. This is a decorative lighted candy cane pack with classic red and white stripes, or an alternate version here on the left, with green stripes added on the inside as well. Comes with two sizes, a medium and a large. And you can find these in either placeables or in brands and DM. This is the easiest way to find them. And you've got everything there. Also, all dash modding stuff is in here. So you've got everything except for the main pull through garage. I'm curious on why it's not in here. Nonetheless, just update it and put it in here so it's easy to find. Uh, you've got everything that they've done right through here. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. And we start with Westbridge Hills by Vanquish. This is going to be version 1.1. Adapted for the Placeable Factories pack. Adapted for the Placeable Factories pellet pack, which is not out yet. Uh, sheep, cows, and horses have been accepting hay pellets now, and they changed the position in the vehicle shop for vehicles purchased. We got an update to Hagenstead, also by Vanquish, version 1.0.1. Adapted for Placeable Factories pack. Adapted for Placeable Factory pellet pack. And sheep, cows, and horses now accept hay pellets. We've got an update to La Cornella. This is going to be the original La Cornella, not the one that holds seasons or even 2.0. This is gonna be version 1.2. Now you can sell chickpea straw at various points of sale. Sale price of cotton was increased. Work chambers of straw and hay warehouses were corrected. The map is now compatible with the seed factory and hay pellet factory. Products produced by the new compatible factories can be sold in various places around the map. And now you can also supply your cows, sheep, and horses with hay pellets as their main food. We got an update to La Cornella 2.0. This is gonna be version 1.2. The map has been adapted for the Precision Farming DLC using its own terrain. This may be the first mod I've seen that has that. Uh, also extra crops of chickpeas and things like that have been made compatible with this. Now chickpea straw, sell point, price of cotton increased, work chambers of straw and hay warehouses were corrected. Map is now compatible with seed factories. Products produced are now able to be sold and you can supply, supply your cows, sheep and horses with hay pellets as their main food. We got an update to Blue Mountain Valley by TNT Modding. This is gonna be version 1.2, compatible with the placeable factory pack by Shaba, which we just talked about. And keep in mind, that pack is not compatible with seasons, so you can't use both of them at the same time. So you have to choose either using seasons or using that pack. How about an update to the Dang Gravel PE32? This is gonna be version 1.001. Vehicle strap compatibility has been added. We got an update to the farmhouse. This is gonna be version 1.1. Mod description version has been fixed. The house color is made a little bit lighter. Clip distance has been fixed. Placeable area has been fixed. Sleep camera position changed and lowered the price. We also have an update to the biomass heating plant. It's gonna be version 1.1. Mod description version has been fixed. Clip distance has been fixed. Placeable area fixed and various fixes overall. We also have an update to VS truck HY400. This is gonna be version 1.0.1. Added another wheel option. We'll take a look at that. Added hose connectors, adjusted the left side mirror, tight hitch with wide wheels. You've also got adjusted height with wide wheels and changed the engine sound. The wide wheels were pretty darn high. So we go in here, we have Lizard, and you can see things have been changed up just a little bit. We also have Michelin tires on here now, which I don't believe we had before. And we've got in Michelin tires, we also have the uh, four by two and the six by two option as well, which is pretty cool. We got an update to the Petro Farm gas station. This is gonna be version 1.0.1 added hourly income. If you're a new farmer, you're gonna get 40 bucks per hour, $45 per hour, farm manager, $30 per hour, or start from scratch, 
$20 per hour. So it's like people are using your uh, gas station. That's pretty cool. Also an update to the field shelter. This is going to be version 1.1. Mod description version has been fixed. Clip distance fixed and placeable area has been fixed. We also have an update to the open cow pasture. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Fixed a bug where the animal pen extension water troughs fill cost money for water. We also have rain now fills the water tank 50 liters per hour. When the animal pen extension is installed on PC, added seasons mask, optimized the feeding trough to allow for tippers to unload easier, and updated the tip collision. We got an update to the Suznovka chicken pen by Ada Mining, the ABP team. This is going to be version 1.3 cleaned up the XML and improved the snow texture. And your last mod update for all platforms today is Goldcrest Valley Chicken Pen by Ada Monning. This is going to be version 1.3. Organize the file, improve the snow, organize the XML, and more seasons and mires have been added. As was mentioned, we do have two new mods for console players today. First off, we have the Lizard T150K. This is going to have 165 horsepower, 315 liters of fuel, 18 miles per hour. This is a mod that was released way, way back when for PC, and it's really cool that it's finally coming out for console players as well. Let's take a look in here. So we have rim color, if I can remember what button hit on PlayStation. We got green, we've got red, we got blue, we got dark blue, and we got white for your rim colors. As far as, ooh, this controller is rough. Uh, we got green in here, we have red for your main color. You also have a light blue and a dark blue as well. I like the red. Let's let's go back to that. And then down here in design color, this is going to be your hood right here. So you can change that up however you like. I like that cream, so we're going to stick with that. Wheel brands. Come on, PlayStation. There we go. Wheel brands. We have the FD14As. We also have uh, different models as well. So we have two different wheels through here. They're not really that different, to be fair. Wheel setups. We have standard wheel. Uh, we just have two sets of standard wheels, so those are exactly the same. Got it. Now, we also have a twin wheel, which is nice. And we have a different set of twin wheels. So you've got that going on there. Equipment setup. We have standard. We have a conditioner on top. Back to standard. Hooded panel. No. Yes. We also have hydraulics, so three-point hitch on the back. Or you can do a tow bar as well, which is nice. And then your number plates. We have the uh, 21, wherever the number plate is so small we can't even see is it on the back somewhere i don't know oh yeah there it is i see it so we have a uh, 29023 and then we have extra decals on there as well for those and your second new mod for console players today is going to be the sp trailer pack of the sp dump trailers uh the first one 22,000 liters rim color we got all kinds of stuff in here whatever you would like we'll just go with a crazy yellow main color we got some interesting stuff in here Let's go with a lime green capacity, 22,000 or 25,000. So you can add that extra thing right there without fenders, rubber fenders, steel fenders or without them. And then decals we have without decals, we have decals on there. And we have a second version as well. That's a single axle, all the exact same. So everything here is going to be exactly the same except for capacity, which is 16,000 and 18,000. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, we start with Homestead Economy. Welcome to the Homestead Economy map. This will offer you 54 fields, three meadows, BGA, farm silo, small forest mission system, animal stables for sheep, pigs, cows, chickens, and seasons ready. And you have no idea how confused I am about how they fit all that into this map. Because let's check it out. <laughs> It's itty bitty, man. This is a tiny map, so tiny. Of course, you have your biogas plant over here. Uh, you've got your sheep up there. You have cows and pigs down here, chickens. You've got water, house. I mean, it's all here. It's just super, super tiny. What do you get when you start? We get 27 and you get your main farm here as well. Uh, fields are bought in clusters. Uh, also, we have the Precision Farming DLC installed, so of course you know that it will work. Uh, but you can see here, you buy everything in clusters. It's fairly inexpensive for the most part, but with smaller maps, smaller fields, it does take longer to make that money. So you may be doing the same fields over and over and over again. The fact that this is Seasons Ready is going to make a lot of people happy that are playing on PC that maybe just want to farm small little chunks and that's totally okay if we go in what do we get a, a new farmer well we actually get some pretty decent equipment for new farmer for the uh, farm of this size 
You have your Fen Favorite 511, you get your Case Maxim, you Raw Smash, Tipper, you get a Corn Header, you also have a uh, Cultivator, you get a Cedar, you get a Front Loader, which has a Bucket and a Pallet Fork, and you even have a, uh, a Weight, <laughs> you've got a Doghouse, and you got Root Crop Storage and Grain Storage as well. Got everything that you need to get started. I love this. Next is the Trail King 50 LP. This bad boy right here is going to cost you $26,500. Rim color. Well, we got all of them, don't we? <laughs> we sure do. I always like to go for the blues. Check them out and see how they look. Uh, if you do want chrome, well, pretty easy. Just stick with the chrome right there and the main color. Same stuff through here. We have the blue satin, AKA almost nitro blue. And it will set up so we have standard and we have standard two. We also have an advanced hub option or outside hub. So that is nice because now you can make this match up with any of the trucks that we have in game. Next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Agrimet U417. It's going to cost $7,000 is Cultivator, 30 horsepower, 2.1 meter working width at eight miles per hour. Main color, got all kinds of stuff through here, kind of whatever you'd like to go with. And then design color, we're going to change this up to pink so we can see that's going to be your fingers or tines down there. Copying wheels, we have metal, we have a metal wheel, a rubber wheel, and then back to a metal disc uh, design. Ordinary tooth, you have a, uh, <laughs> I don't wanna say that. That's got a tooth right there, ordinary, back and forth. <laughs> YouTube's already getting me in trouble. Replacings, you've got the beige, you have a light harrow on the back, you also have a string roller, light string roller, double string roller, another one and then they're back and forth between all those and then copying wheels we have a new type and you can move them front and back so put them in the forwards put them in the backwards all good to go hey warning boards we also have warning boards on here as well and a new type and old type we also have a couple different sets through there nice that's a whole lot of customization for that and your last new mod for pc and mac players day is going to be the alamaz pln 535 plow 150 horsepower required 1.8 meter working with seven miles per hour main color you got all the older colors. We're going to go with a nice little uh, teal green right there. Attacher type. We have standard type. We have the under the right standard. So basically, a little bit left, a little bit right. However you like. Harrows, no or yes. And our last grouping today is going to be mod updates for PC and Mac players. Starting off with the Combine Experience version 1.002. HUD tech scaling issues been fixed and HUD error when playing on dedicated servers been fixed with better management of sugar beet and potato harvesters. We got an update to the trailer axle blocker. This is going to be version 1.001. Fix the movement of trailers on the map in the uncoupled state, aka all the issues that I was having on Erlengrad. Uh, those have been fixed. And an update to real time. This is going to be version 1.002. Bug fixes, performance improvements, and mod description has been adapted. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.